it's finally here. Yep, Chaos. First one just arrived in Global. Gonna be bringing Cloud, Warrior Light, and Ramza with uh, a Cloud friend. And uh, Ifrit for damage output. So I have I have Cloud purpled here. And these are his arts. Nothing I made. Nothing great. They're not they're not optimal, but it's whatever. Warrior of Light's arts. Ramza's arts. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. Should go pretty well. I tried this with uh, instead of Warrior of Light, I had an Aerith, but the uh, the shaving was just awful. It didn't work out so well. We'll just do Cross Slash here. Wow, and a stun right away. Okay. Because I don't want to do Finishing Touch because uh, Ramza can buff him with the attack buff. And then. Let's turn right like. Okay. I'll provoke B with Warrior of Light. I'm gonna save his shining shields for the uh, towards the end because that's what's uh, that's when they start getting uh, AOE attack heavy. <sighs> so purple cloud, feel it really, really good. I luck sacked Vincent EX and I completed the Choco board. And uh, if you do all of that, you should have enough ingots to purple cloud. I did this before with uh, with a 2-3 cloud, but I failed to turn wreck by like a couple turns and HP requirement got shat on as well. So this is, hopefully this is going to go much better. I think it will. If you have Vincent, if you have Vincent, you can easily put him in here. He'll do really well. That attack down debuff is super good. Really potent. I just didn't want to bring him here. I don't want to work on his boards. Here. So first two waves, in my opinion, are the hard are the hard waves. First one, especially, is really really difficult. I believe Ramza has galvanize up. Yes, he does. Defense down. That's good. Shot at A. Our shields should still be doing pretty well. We dodge. Do another shining shield here. Dumb down shield. Good. Cloud has all passives except for World of Illusion. Alright. 3 3 EX plus Cloud. Oh, that's good damage. That is real good damage. Overflows as well. I want to kill these two at the same time. Get another HP plus. I'll wait a bit until I, I'll wait a little bit until I do finishing touch. So I got 80 turns. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got 80 turns here. To uh, beat this whole chaos stage and three mini boss waves, all of which are duo bosses. So my goal is to get to the end, to get to the last wave, at about 60-ish turns. Let's do shining wave just for brave damage. And then do a finishing touch. These guys are dangerous because they have a high turn rate. Second wave, probably the hardest if you don't have good shape, if you don't have good DPS, because they do massive brave gains up to like 20 ish thousand, and they boost their attack and speed. And uh, it can get pretty dangerous if your characters cannot shave it down quickly. Let's do another throw buckler. I want to save shining shields more uh, as opposed to throw buckler. All right, EX again. There we go. With with that uh, galvanize buff, galvanize and enervate debuff makes clouds hit for nine thousand. Hit brave cap, and it's beautiful. Ha! 
<clears throat> Targeting A. I'm just gonna galvanize again. I wanna save Shout as long as possible. I'm already burning through it pretty quickly, but I also need those free turns. Hmm. Let's stun B. Refresh high HP plus. Do one more shining shield. I want to get to the end with about five or six shining shields. I have to shout. I don't want that stack to run out. Now boost low. This meteor range should kill. Should kill both of them. Yep. All right. Doing good so far. Having maxed out EX Plus Cloud is really, really helpful. Now this is the wave I'm more scared of. I might end up summoning here. So while the dragons are green, they are... <clears throat> while the dragons are green, they are melee resistant until they turn red. And when they turn red is when uh, it gets pretty dangerous. Turn 37. Not sure if I'm going to be able to make it to, this, to the end by 60 turns. Or maybe I will, because I got Ramza's HP+. Plus. Huh? 1,000 shield on Ramza. He's going to get broken here. Nope, not quite. Alright, good. That's good. I would refresh the... I would refresh the galvanized buffs, but I I don't have I don't have that many uses left over. Let's grow. Okay. Cloud does not have his buffs up. But I think we'll be good. I brought a cloud front for more damage at the end. Because I want my cloud to go, I want my cloud to go ham on the first two waves. HP plus. I'm playing a bit too conservative here. Knocked off about, knocked off about probably 15% of their health. All right, do meteor rain. A blast wave. Okay, so while while the dragons are red, they do brave uh, they do brave attacks pretty often. AoE brave attacks pretty often. They do AoE Brave attacks pretty often. If you don't shave down their Brave enough, uh, they'll do an AoE Brave and HP attack. It can get pretty dangerous. If their if their bravery is low, they'll only do a uh, they'll only do an AoE HP attack, which is fine. That's easy to shave down. And that's easy to that's easy to deal with. Ah, oh, jeez. Order of Light does not have a shield cloud. Do another finishing touch here. I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing finishing touch until the boss. Sonic wings. That's the AOE HP. That's okay to deal with. What buff is Ramza low on? Galvanize. Okay. Ooh, Warrior Light dodged. That's neat. Hit him with another meteor rain. Beautiful nines. Beautiful nines. I got a shout to refresh. Oh, Rams is out of the shield, but I think we are okay. They didn't do their HP attacks. Hmm. 
B is going to do AoE. Cloud Shield is about to run out, but I can galvanize and battery up so that them two. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stun A. And then I'm going to galvanize, or not galvanize, what am I saying? Enervate on B. Shining wave. I want to get full health before we enter next wave. That's pretty low still. But okay. Gonna target A from with Meteor Rain so that the first hit can hit B. Get the turn order in my favor. First one is dead. That's good. I don't think Warrior of Light's going to be getting his uh, class change passive. But I think it's okay. We're doing really good so far. Just the first two waves is the hardcore, in my opinion. Got plenty of uses. Got, I think I'm underneath 60 turns. Cloud got his Mako Might passive, which is what I really wanted. It's all I really wanted. 55 turns, plenty of turns. And uh, I have 80 turns requirement. <clears throat> So I want, to, I want to try getting these guys to about half health because, uh, or before I summon, because uh, their tails start to raise up and that's when they start spamming AoE uh, HP attacks and it can get really dangerous. That's why I have Warrior of Light here to mitigate some of that damage and to heal it up. My cloud is still going to go in for the most part. Uh, EX is not ready. That is okay. Still doing good damage. Debuff attack up. That's good. Mm, let's see here. Everyone still has their shields. I'll, gal I'll galvanize next turn. 13,000 shield still. What about Ramza? 4,000. I'm assuming Cloud is still really good. With his HP plus. With that HP plus, uh, Cloud's EX should be ready. Do another Shining Shield. Moving nimbly. It's okay. Warrior of Light, really helpful. Initial Brave Up is really dangerous because uh, their AoE HP attacks is what restores restores uh, their bravery up to Initial Brave before the HP attack, and it can get pretty dangerous. I'd have Cloud. Uh, I don't have Cloud's World of Illusion weapons, and uh, I don't have I don't have the tokens to max it out, even if it did come to the shop. Do Meteor Rain. I need a shot with Ramza. Tail raised. Okay, that's what I'm scared of. When they're tail raised, they do tail laser. 6,000, that is okay. But the thing is, they keep doing it while their tail is raised, which is the hard part. That is the dangerous part. So... I'm going to pray for a stun here. I did not get one. Refresh Shining Shield to be safe. <clears throat> Range shot, that's okay. Being a little bit unlucky with the... with the dodges on the HP attack, but we're okay. I'm gonna summon soon. I have nine turns left. We'll just summon now. 
They're at half health. I got nine turns left. Mm. They're not spun. They're not. They're not spongy, but it's definitely not a position I want to be in right now. Good damage, good damage. Do that. Uh, that's not going to kill. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, pure perfect. perfect. I'm going to do a C65 to kill. And then... I think you can kill him. In eight turns. Hitting cap, that's beautiful. Do Galvan. Uh, no, why do I keep calling it Galvanate? Uh, enervate. Turn is getting pretty tight, but it's okay. Get the paralyze off. I think that's it. Four turns to spare. Yep, four turns to spare. Didn't even use a friend. Oh, that was fun. I might sound not amused, but I actually like that. <laughs> I really like that. First, first Cosmos. Or not Cosmos, Chaos. Just barely passed his turns. Yeah, there's my other two. I failed. I filled those requirements last time. I had I had uh, clouds, ex plus at two out of three instead of three out of three. And uh, yeah, that's chaos. That was the first one. Uh, you should absolutely bring Vincent if you have him. Even zero three would work because his 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 attack defense, not attack defense, his attack down debuff is just real good. It's super strong. It can make the first two waves hit for zeros. The initial brave down for the last wave is super good too. But yeah, that's that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, good luck on your guys' runs if you're attempting chaos. And so uh, I'll see you all in the next the next time I do chaos. All right, see y'all later.